Hello, welcome to On the Red Couch with Jeannie. Um, and as we prepare to launch the spring 2025 collections um, at Coterie, uh, I thought it'd be a wonderful idea to sit down with each of our designers um, and ask them about what's new and next for spring. Um, so here I'm sitting with Britt Shoemaker, the um, designer for the Threads for Thought brand, uh, who is a leader um, in the sustainable market, in the contemporary women's sustainable market. Um, so welcome, Britt. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I am so excited to talk with you. Um, you were one of the initial pioneers of the brand, along with Eric Fleet, who is the founder. Um, so I wanted to, you know, start there, you know, I wanted to ask about like the journey from 20, <laughs> you know, 2006 to 2024, um, and how, you know, your vision for Threads for Thought has evolved and how it stayed. Yeah. The <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm back in 2006 and um, yeah, Eric and his wife, Lee started it. It kind of launched more of as a as a graphic t-shirt line. Um, and it's definitely evolved over the years. Um, we've definitely stayed true to our values and it's been sustainable brand um, the whole time. Um, that's been at our core. Um, but we've been really lucky and have kind of evolved over the, the years. And now we've really are at a place where it's a full lifestyle brand and adding in things like wovens and um, everything from loungewear to active wear and everything in between men's and women's, um, even kids. So it's really great. That's incredible. So, um, you know, what I really love about Threads for Thought, you know, of course, it's all about the product. It's always all about the product. Uh, but what's something very special and unique to the brand is the element of sustainability. Um, and you are sustainable, not only in your product and production, but also your packaging. Could you talk a little bit about that and what that means? Yeah, we really try to um, really implement the sustainability message um, through our whole process. So um, everything, like you mentioned, um, whether it's our marketing materials, um, you know, being on recycled paper, FSC paper, um, our packaging being in um, wave bags, which dissolve in water, our materials being organic cotton, recycled polyester, things like that. You know, it's really um, at the heart of our brand. Um, one of our main factories um, in China, you know, we recycle 80% of our, our dye water there. Um, that's unheard of. Um, we really try to be the pioneers um, of that and um, do our research and do the best we can um, and really just try to push, you know, other brands to do the same, you know, um, it's not that difficult um, to do the small things like that, um, to choose um, better paper products for your hang tags or better packaging materials that will, you know, help our, our world be better. Right. It's about, you know, making a conscious effort. Taking it is. An yeah. An effort to, you know, be conscious about all of those elements. Exactly. Yes, I, I agree with you. So not only, you know, is it about, you know, really just, um, I would say, you know, timeless, casual style, but also you feel like you're making a difference, you know, in, in the world. And um, that really feels good, both on the body yeah. and the mind. Right? Exactly. <laughs> you can feel good um, about the purposes that you're making. Exactly. So, um, you know, going back to like, you know, the, uh, the casual style that you're renowned for. Um, tell me about like really what defines a thread, you know, the threads for thought style and, and the girl who you're dressing. Yeah. I mean, definitely casual. They're definitely looking for comfort. Um, we're looking, our customers are looking for that soft, um, buttery fabric. That's kind of what we're known for. Um, obviously we have expanded into wovens and things as well, but even our wovens, like our chambray, um, that's kind of taken off recently, it has stretch to it and, um, has a brushed hand fill. So compared to others in the market, um, we really do our best to, um, give our customers the best quality and still, you know, hold true to our values, um, not only in sustainability, but giving them that softness that they're looking for. Um, so yeah, for our line and our customer, I think that's definitely what they're looking for, um, comfort and style and sustainability. 
I love my threads with all pieces. That featherweight <laughs> uh, rib that you have is I love outrageous. It. I mean, I just can't stop putting it on because obviously <laughs> you want to reach for the things that feel good on your body, right? Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. It's, it's, always, it's always on my repeat. So you were talking <laughs> about like the evolution of um, the Threads for Thought style, right? And the new classifications that you've, you know, really entered into. Tell me a little bit about that. Like what are some of the most exciting uh, classifications and the pieces within those classifications that we're going to see for spring? Yeah, for spring, um, I think we've definitely kind of stepped it up. We've um, one of our most successful things recently has been our stretch twill program. So we've definitely been expanding on that each season, just introducing new silhouettes. Um, that's really proven to be successful for us. Um, and then our chambray, which I just mentioned, um, adding stretch to that has really been great. Um, and just introducing new knits. Um, we introduced um, a new eco jersey, which is a little bit heavier and has some stretch to it. Um, and we've done it in yarn dye stripes this spring and just done some mixing stripes and mixing colors um, to keep it interesting. Um, and one of my favorite is a new smocked jersey. So it adds some texture um, and it's in a little bit more stylish knit silhouettes, um, less true basics. Um, so I, yeah, I think those are some great new fabrications that we're introducing in spring. Um, and it helps kind of mix and match like those back to our tried and true basics to really help elevate your, you know, kind of classic style. Okay. Well, that's great. What's a, what's a piece, uh, of threads for thought in your wardrobe that you've had since oh, the inception, gosh. since 20, you know, 2006. <laughs> that you just can't I definitely part have some vintage threads, sweaters, you know, from probably, gosh, like 10 to 15 years ago. Um, and that's just holds, you know, just proves our, the quality does hold up. Um, yeah, a lot of sweaters and a lot of hoodies, our tribal and hoodies have definitely held up for sure. Um, and we have some great new, our beach knit sweater knit, um, in our spring line, it's like a really open kind of like beach cover up knit is really great too. So you guys should check that out for spring for sure. Well, that's amazing. And it sounds like it's easy to care for. So are these, um, are, is one of your focuses to make it easy to, to wash and wear are these like throw in the machine kind of things? It is. Yeah. For the most part, it's yeah. Very easy. It's like, we don't want anything that you're going to have to be ironing and taking a lot of time and care. It's like, I think our, our customer for the most part is just looking for ease and comfort and just really easy to wear pieces. Right. Oh my God. Night ironing is my nightmare. I do have a steamer, yeah. which I cannot live without because I, I just can't wear wrinkled. Yeah. I throw everything <laughs> in the dryer. I'm like, this is much easier. <laughs> So, you know, how do you, what do you think about the word trend? Like, are you trendy? Is Threads for Thought trendy? How does the word trend apply to, you know, your vision for the brand? I think we're trend right. Um, I think um, the key for us is we don't want to be um, like a fast, fast fashion trend uh, focus brand. Um, we all we want to have classic pieces that are somewhat timeless, um, but we do want to be trendy. You know, we want to make sure we're hitting the trends um, that are key trends for each season. So um, it's right kind of about finding that balance, you know, um, of maybe interpreting the trends, but something that can kind of live live throughout some seasons and not just be something you wear for a season and then move on. Um, Cause that's not a sustainable way of, of doing fashion either. Right. No, I, I completely agree with you. Um, you know, most of the things in my wardrobe, just generally speaking, have just lived because, you know, I okay, always acquire great. things that I love and I just, I, I want to keep them. Like, I'm not one of those people that likes to like throw, <laughs> throw exactly. away, get rid and purge every season. No. Like, no, 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 no. If I, Eventually they come back around. I, and I love it. <laughs> Everything comes back. If you live long enough, you know, you see everything cycle back around. Exactly. Um, you know, I'm taking out all of my platforms from my storage closet as we speak. Yes. yes. <laughs> what is, um, you know, there are some trends, you know, there's always some trends that are like a little baffling, you know, like things that make you say, hmm, what trend right now would you say that you're seeing in the market that's like, 
makes you say, oh my, <laughs> and people are actually wearing it. I have, I have something in mind, you know, I want to hear what your, your thoughts uh, are on that topic. I don't know. I can't think of one specifically, but I mean, definitely, um, you know, the balloon and barrel pants that are coming oh! back around. Oh my that's God. Sure. <laughs> that is my red bell, right? Oh my God. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. I mean, they're def they're not flattering, but they're, some girls can pull it off and make it look cute. And then not to age myself, but how we we're talking about things coming back around, you know, um, the really baggy pants and crop tops, you know, that was big in the nineties, you know, you see that everywhere right now. Um, even more so with the younger, um, right. younger shoppers, but yeah, the baggier oh pants for sure. So, um, yeah, yesterday I was like a at uh, you know one of my kids' school, and I saw all the mothers, you know, and they're all like so fashionable because they're New York and they're in a hot school and everything. <laughs> and then one, you know, one of the mothers was in one of those like barrel jeans, and I mean, she wore it really well, but her legs looked like you know like a <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> right look like you like have bow legs yeah. oh my goodness when I was little my parents um you know I actually I had bow legs when I, <laughs> when I was really born and my parents used to take me out in the sun you know for the vitamin d so oh, to straighten yeah. them out and now we're curving them again so like right why, I, I'm asking look. my mother like why bother you should have just left them I would have been a trend, right? <laughs> been so trendy oh my god um what what is your you know just so we get to know like who you are. And of course it's evident in your designs and everything, but what's an element of your personal style that you would say is like very evident and, you know, in the collection consistently. Um, hmm, it's a hard one. I mean, I think it definitely appears just in, um, I don't know, I guess maybe the simplistic, uh, no, it's like a, I guess it's like a, has to have a, in my opinion, my style is a little bit, um, has to have a character to it, but it has to also be something that can, like I mentioned, kind of be classic and carry on. Um, I don't buy anything that's not, doesn't speak to me, like doesn't have some sort of twist to it. Right. Um, so I try to, when, you know, working on our threads for thought line it has to have something to it, whether it's like a fabric. Uh, no novelty fabric or it's not just a basic top it has to have a little something fun to it you know that really makes you want to buy it right I agree with you I I totally uh you know think it's all about like the special pieces mm -hmm. um that uh the ladies have to have I mean you have yeah. to move them emotionally they have to bond with the piece so so yeah I agree on that topic completely it has to have something that that speaks to you know, the woman yeah. that's wearing it. Um, what are, you know, I would say to you, like the top three must haves from your spring line. Like if you had to highlight three mm -hmm. pieces, either styles or fabrics, like what should every girl have in their wardrobe spring 2025 from Threads for Thought? I would say um, I really love the Amelia Stripe Mix top. It's, um, kind of like a, a basic body, but down the front, there's a seam and it's mixing two different stripes and colors. So um, it's somebody that's kind of ready to have a little bit of fun, you know, like tr wanting to mix up a little bit of pattern um, and color. Um, but it's something really easy to wear. It's like, you don't have to think about it. It's a very basic body and basic silhouette that you can throw on with denim or um, our chambray pant, that's what we normally style it with. It's very, very easy, but reads very fashionable just because of the color blocking and stripe mixing. Um, and then I really love, I'm really pushing our smock jersey because it's just so comfortable and, um, just something new. Um, I really love, we have a set right now. Um, it's our, um, it's just a very basic pant, our Ivana pant, and then our Jamelia um, tank and it's like a button front take so it almost reads like it would be a woven linen set like something you would see there for like a vacation but it's knit so it's super comfortable but you read it looks very stylish and fashionable amazing do you develop your fabrics at threads for thought we do yeah I mean we'll um kind of see what's trending out there or see what we see in the market or shop different fabric shows um and then we have to develop everything sustainably 
So um, everything's kind of custom made and developed for the line. Okay, well, that sounds incredible. Uh, we are in heavy preparation here in the showroom, uh, you know, for the upcoming show. And um, I've had my eyes on the collection and it's it's fantastic. I have my name on some of the tags already. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for joining me on The Red Couch with Jeannie. Okay. And um, we will look forward to continuing our conversation at the show. And, uh, you know, we can uh, broadcast some more excitement you know, from the booth. Sounds good. All right. Enjoy have, the line, everybody. <laughs> yes, have a good trip in. We'll see you. Coterie starts Sunday at the Javits Center. We're going to be in booth 7259, Threads for Thought. And you can find me and Britt there and uh, dancing in the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye-bye, Britt. Bye. -bye, Brit. Bye.